Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Getting settled in this morning. Welcome back to Yoga Shalom at Home. I'm Reb Cantor Lisa Levine, and I'm your guide into the world of yoga through a Jewish lens. Today, our practice will be done primarily on our mats, but feel free to use your chair. Just listen to the backtrack if you wish, and I'll suggest some modifications as we go. Our theme today is dedicated to our Torah, our stories. We are standing at the moment of revelation, listening to what it is that we need for ourselves today. Will we listen? And as we go, we'll deepen the practice by using all of the spirit that we've experienced during our Omer journey, beginning with the Keter, Chokhmah, Bina, the wisdom, center and understanding, Da'at, Chokhmah, Chesed, Gevura, strength and understanding, compassion, Teferit, the heart center, Right leg, humility, hod, left leg, netzach. These are balanced in yesod, here in the lower belly, the kishkas. And the feet connected to the earth. So connect your feet with the earth if you're in a chair. And if you're on the mat, connect your sits bones with the earth. Feel connected in every way, all the way from the Keter to Malchut to Shekhinah to the earth. And as you do that, notice any places that are knotted in the body. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling today? Allow that light that's attached to the top of this string at the top of the Keter, attached to the source of light, allow that light to wash through like the waters of Miriam's well, which we're going to talk about when we start our pranayama practice. Today is all about nurturing ourselves as we stand at the foot of the mountain, experiencing that revelation that has come down through the generations into us, into our DNA. What excites you about today, about Torah? about your dharma, your journey. Bring all of these questions and perhaps through our practice an answer or an opening or a space will open for an answer or maybe more questions. That's what Torah is all about seeking, perhaps finding, but mostly seeking. So let's get ready to practice. I'm going to go back to my mat. Get ready for our Pranayama this morning. In Sukhasana, easy pose or just seated at, on your chair. Bring your hands into a mudra. We're going to be exploring more mudras later in the month, but just a little mudra with hands on top of the knees. Drop the awareness into the belly. Close the eyes or lower the gaze and empty all the air out of the lungs and then inhale through the nostrils. Lower belly, lower lungs, upper lungs, bring it, bring, bringing that Torah right into the heart center and then pause, filling with that and then exhale slowly through the nostrils, uncovering the layers of Torah. 
unrolling, as it were. Inhaling, lower belly, lower lungs. Expanding into the upper lungs and then pause. And then slowly release. This is called Kumbhaka. So as you release slowly, squeeze all the air out. Let go of anything you don't need. And then pause. Inhale, lower belly, lower lungs, upper lungs as though you're filling a well in the desert with water. We were pretty thirsty in the desert, but we had this Miriam's well to call upon. We still have that well. Exhale, it exists inside, all the way up and down our spine, in our lungs, in our hearts, in our spirits, in our awareness of that moment. Inhale, picture the well filling from lower belly to lower lungs lungs filling to the top of the well and then pause slowly release through the nostrils release all the breath pause Inhale, lower belly, lower lungs, upper lungs filling to the top, 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 fill, 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 sip, 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 pause, and then really slowly. Picture the water receding, watering the desert. Squeeze all the air out, pause, inhale, lower belly, lower lungs, upper lungs. Up to the top of the well, feel that healing, expanding, heart opening. Pause. And slowly releasing. Releasing all the air. And breathe normally. Hands over the heart. I am blessed. I am whole. Wow. And release. It's amazing what a little pausing to breathe will do for bringing that sense of healing, wholeness, and presence. Let's start moving a little bit. So little tiny circles to the back, and bringing the spirit back into the body. After our night of sleep, our soul was cleansed by the Shafina. It's returned to us pure. And then roll the shoulders forward. Little tiny circles right now, just starting to warm up the shoulders, the spine. Good. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, 
and bring the hands down a little bit. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, open the heart, crack it open. Exhale, look down, chin to chest. Good. Inhale, bring in anything that you need for yourself today, your story, your Torah. And then as you exhale, look inward and release anything that doesn't bring forth that true self. Inhale, arms up, and bring the fingertips behind. As you exhale, let go of anything you don't need. Inhale up, gather that truth in, that satya into the hands and all the way forward. As you exhale, drop chin to chest. Inhale up, all the way back, fingertips back, open the heart, open the well of truth. Inhale up, and then fill that right up, all the way down. Blessing, hands to the ground. Inhale up, and let's take it over, gentle over to the side and look up under that lifted arm just to open the heart a little bit more inhale up and as you exhale side bend over hand should be on the ground and then look up under that lifted arm as you exhale good two more times either side just back and forth at your own pace release and bring that flexibility that coping into the embodiment today. Inhale, arms up. And let's do a nice, easy twist behind. Use the drishti to bring your head back and feel the spine release, the heart open. Inhale, up. And exhale. Perhaps this flexibility can open a new window for you in life as well. Maybe there's something lurking right beyond your vision. Inhale up one more nice deep twist behind. Sometimes reflection behind can help us move into the future. And sometimes we have to just let it go. Inhale up, bring that truth into the hands. Clasp the hands together all the way down. Mm, strength and loving kindness and press that into the heart center into to bear the balance of loving kindness and strength release a switch which leg you have in front if you're on the mat and if you're in a chair you don't have to worry about it we're going to start our circling so that today we're just going to start with the body bringing the ashray, our gratitudes, right into the heart center. So as though you're stirring a big pot, like a truth serum, all the way around. And what is that truth that's coming into your awareness? The truth that you need. And what are you grateful for today? Ashray Yoshve Vetecha. What brings you happiness? So go one way and the other, nice and easy. And then when you're ready, add the arms in. Inhaling down. And exhaling. Inhaling arms up. Actually, I like inhaling up better. And then exhaling down. And then when you're ready, go in the opposite direction. Bring all the gratitude that you can gather into your circle, into your force field today. All the gratitudes in your life, right here. Good. Arms up, all the way up, and gather that in big circles. So really expand the arms wide up. Inhale and exhale. So feel those circles opening and gathering in. 
I like to do three, so then let's circle outward. And bring the arms out, all the way up and out. With your attitudes all the way around. One more. Good. Roll the shoulders back and look up. And then squeeze the shoulders and drop and then begin to circle the neck. So you should feel the neck already loose because we've gotten the spine nice and loose. But then just draw circles on the ceiling with the neck and really warm up the top of the spine. Creaky, creaky for me. I slept on my pillow wrong. Good. And one more time, look up, inhale. And then exhale, drop the chin to the chest all the way down good look to the left and look to the right look to the left inhale and look to the right good look up one last time and then all the way down good hands are just at the back of the neck little massage draw the elbows down towards one another and then inhale elbows out inhale over to the side inhale up and over to the other side inhale up over to the side inhale up and over Release the arms, inhale, arms up, and all the way down. Release that hip. Gratitudes for today. Feeling all that energy from Keter to Mahut, we're going to stand and build on that. Bringing the feet wide for our series for the barhu, for our praise embodiment. And if you need the chair, you can just stand either behind the chair or just use the chair as a little bit of a ground. Today we're going to try just bringing the legs wide. Good. Inhale. I like bringing the hands to the hip creases. Exhale. A nice, easy bend in the knees. Praise Yah. So exhale and straighten the knees. Bring an awareness to beyond gratitudes, to beyond anything that you know, beyond what is known, to that what is unknown, that which we can't control. Inhale, exhale, bend those knees down a little bit farther. Good. Inhale, exhale, push into the feet. Inhale. Exhale, open the arms wide. Goddess, thank Goddess. Gavi Asana. Inhale, exhale, send that praise out to beyond anything that is known. Encompassing the unknown. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands into the hip creases. Inhale, exhale, keep the knees straight and then extend the crown of the head as you exhale toward the opposite wall. And bow for Barahu. Let go of control. Balance in the right and the left legs, humility and courage. Connect with the earth with Shekhinah and the healing power of her energy. Drop the head down, shake the head. Don't hold any stress in the neck and let anything you don't need flow away like water in the desert. Standing at the revelation, knowing God for the first time, our faces become radiant, filled with blood as we are in this inversion. Stay down as long as you can and allow that radiance to 
feel your face and feel your brain, feel your heart. Inhale one last time into the lower back and then slowly bring the hands to the legs and then hinge up and right down into Devi Asana, into the opening heart. Inhale, exhale all of those praises out to the universe. Standing at Sinai, bringing all that radiance right into the heart center. Inhale, exhale, bring palms together. Let's store that radiance right here. All the way down into the heart center. Gavura strength and loving kindness. Praise Yah. Good. All right. We are going to now allow that revelation that we are experiencing at Sinai to guide our Surya Namaskar, our call to action sun salutation. If you need to do downward dog with the chair, please do so. If you need to modify, do so. If you want to practice in the chair, you may do that as well. So front of the mat. We're gonna move it a little bit quick today. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, fingertips to the mat. Inhale, half fold, exhale, hands on the mat, step back with the right. Inhale, exhale, left back. Inhale, exhale, press the heels into the mat, cup the hands so you can take the pressure off the palms. Inhale, exhale, drop the hips down into plank. Inhale, chaturanga, yoga push-up. Exhale, inhale, bhujangasana, baby cobra. Inhale, exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. And as you exhale, draw that knee into the chest, bring it between the hands. Exhale. Inhale, left foot meets the right. Exhale, all the way up. And hands in Anjali Mudra. Good. Inhale, all the way down. Fold, fingertips to the mat. Exhale. Inhale, half back, half forward fold. As you exhale, hands come to the mat. Inhale, left foot back and the right. Exhale, press the heels into the mat. Inhale, drop the hips. Exhale, chaturanga, yoga push-up all the way down. Inhale, cobra, bhujangasana, all the way up. Exhale, down. Inhale, push back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Draw the knee toward the chest and put it between the hands. Inhale, exhale, right foot meets the left. Inhale, reverse swan dive. And hands in Anjali. Inhale, up, all the way down, flat back. We're going fast today. Exhale, flat back. Inhale, hands on the mat. Exhale, right foot back, left foot back. You can always drop your knees, push through the feet. Now walk your dog. Walk the dog, inhale, drop the hips. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, come down. Push all the way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, upward dog. Downward dog. And then just simply walk your feet into the hands. We don't have time to do each side again, so we're just going to walk them in. Inhale, reverse swan dive. 
hands in Anjali. Spirits rising. Spirits rising. Spirits rising. Spirit rising. And release our call to action standing at Sinai. Love it. So let's um, go right into Utkatasana chair pose. What is your story? What is your truth? What is it that you want to learn about your Torah today? What's your heart telling you right this very moment? So feet hip distance apart, hands at the hip creases. Inhale, exhale, and sit right back down in your chair and study your truth. Bring that truth, the satya, your blessing into your hands. Could be a goal. It could be something you need for yourself, something to nurture and breathe. and step into the feet and shake them out. Oh boy, I have a lot I want to bring to my truth and sometimes it's too much so you just have to narrow it down a little bit. On the other hand, let's do some pushing away right now. That also can be very helpful. Inhale, exhale, sit back down. Make sure the knees are right over the feet. Don't, don't let them go splay out. And then push away anything you don't need. Push it, push it away. Push it. And gather that Torah in as you bring hands into heart center. And then shake it out. So sitting down to study our Torah today. Good. Bring all of the weight into the left leg and bring the right ankle on top. Bring your hands into Anjali or Vajra Mudra and using your drishti to spring your hands out in front. Either that or you can reach out and breathe. and unfold shake it out and the other side into the right leg bring the left ankle over hands in anjali or vajra mudra and then bring the hands out the gaze is out at your drishti don't try to gaze at the fingertips because you'll probably do just what i just did which is get unbalanced Feeling that oneness, that truth, the satya, determination, intention for today's practice at Sinai. Let's go into a triangle listening embodiment. So to coming to the side of the mat, stepping up the left foot, I'm mirroring you so you should be using the same feet, legs and everything. Toes are at the wall. Right toes in, 45. Inhale, exhale, the right hip open. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, drop those shoulders. Inhale, reach way out over that standing leg and then come into tricking us in a triangle. If you can gaze up at the thumbnail, that's great. Down at the toenail. You know if you're in your chair, you can always do your triangle in the chair. Absolutely great. No problem at all. And breathe. Inhale, exhale. Right hand, right back thigh, left arm over. The knees are straight as the heart is opening to the listening for your truth. 
reach way over that standing leg. If you'd like to come into side angle, gives a little more space as you look up under that lifted right arm. Good. Straighten the leg, bring right hand to right back thigh, left arm over. Listening for what we need, our Torah. Come to the other side. So right toes to the wall, left toes in 45 degrees. Inhale, swivel the left hip open. Exhale, and then inhale, arms up. Exhale, shoulders drop. Inhale, way over that standing leg, and then bring the left arm up, feeling that strength of Gavura balancing with the right leg, the humility of Hod. Inhale, and bring that hand to the back thigh and the right arm over, loving kindness. And the left leg feeling strength and endurance. It's really a complete meeting of all of the sphero reach back up with the left arm breathe opening the heart feeling the grounding in yasod and malchut feeling all those energy sphero that we've just traveled 49 days and arrived at mount sinai and they're all singing to us today i forgot to do side angle but that's okay Left hand, left back thigh, right arm over. And bring the toes together. I was so busy talking. Hands at heart center, eyes are closed. Let's create a oneness. First time we uttered these words. Aseret Hadibrot, the ten words. Shema, the rules and the tenets, the laws. Shema, what are they telling us today? It's our Torah. Shema, writing our Torah in our hearts. Writing our Torah on our hearts. that my mouth may declare hands down into dasana feet hip distance apart as we stand at the foot of mount sinai our faces are radiant as we receive the word of Torah. What is our Torah? Our feet are connected through the generations, Shalshelata Kabbalah, the chain that connects us all the way back to Sinai. Picture that chain. Picture each generation, mothers, fathers, grandfathers, all the way back. Their feet are our feet. Their legs, our legs, their struggles, our struggles. Coming into our hands and arms, everything that they've worked so hard for that comes to us today, into our hearts and minds and spirits. 
Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, over to the right. And gather those spirits into heart center. Inhale, raise the right arm over to the left. Open up the heart and gather the spirits right into heart center. Create a spiritual renaissance right here at Sinai, bringing all of those spirits right in, each side and then the other. Inhale over and exhale. Both hands up. Hands are clasped, looking up, bringing that cloud, the presence of Yah, into our midst, and then over easily to the right. Inhale up, and then over easily to the left. Inhale up on the toes three times, kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. And then release the arms. Hallelujah. And create that force field of holiness and truth. The spirits of those who've come before are guiding us and bringing us protection. And just draw that protection all the way around. Keeping us safe. Keeping us whole. Adonai. Hands at heart center. Tita. Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Really felt like I was standing there. Let's um, do some prayers now on the mat, some asking prayers for this holiday, Shavuot. Sometimes it's good just to be closer to the ground and feel connected. And if you're in a chair, you can do these balances with your feet and your arms, the seated cat and cow. So, Moda Ani, another prayer for gratitude. Meet me in tabletop. So inhale, bring the tail up and look up. Exhale, press in through the shoulders. Nice angry cat as you exhale. Inhale, look up, tail up. Bring that flexibility before we do our asking prayers. Meet me in flat back and let's extend our right hand out as though we're going to shake somebody's hand. Press the left into the back wall and lift. And let's reach for everything that we want to send into the world for truth, for Torah, for repair. Not for ourselves, but for others. Breathe. And if you'd like, just reach behind and grab your foot. Open up the heart a little bit more. And then reach forward and press back. And then sit back into child's pose. Wiggle, wiggle the tail. Feel this. Hips release, the spine release. And back to tabletop. Reach out with your left hand as though you're going to shake somebody's hand. Press the right behind and breathe. Send out those prayers for those in need all around the world and maybe, maybe in other worlds too. Inhale, exhale, grab the foot. Open up the heart. You don't have to do this, but it's a great stretch. Inhale, exhale, reach. Press and reach and then back into child's pose and wiggle the tail. Mm. Yes, that's great. I am grateful. Good, come back into tabletop. Extend the right leg back and then hug the knee in and 
bring that knee forward into pigeon pose. As you open the heart, bring your gratitudes into heart center and send your prayers out to those who need it. We have so many blessings. Bring the Shekhinah blessings and Torah out to the world. Good. Bring that knee back to the mat. Good. Press the left leg back. Inhale, exhale. Bring that knee in between the hands. Come into pigeon pose on the other leg. If you want to set that hip down, you can, but I prefer staying up a little bit and also it's always good to use a block if you want to breathe into it. Open the heart center. Inhale, exhale. Bring that knee back to the mat. Sit right back into child's pose. Extend the arms out. Inhale, exhale, wisdom pose or child's pose. Bringing all of the blessings to the world for anything that you'd like to ask. Inhale, exhale, come right down onto the mat with belly on the mat. Our final pose is Sphinx. So the hands are flat in front of you the elbows under the shoulders, extend the heart, extend the neck. This is the ultimate asking pose. We're sending our prayers out to those in need, opening our heart. All the gratitudes. Inhale, exhale, push back. Cross the feet, come on to the tachat, on to the bottom, and come on to the mat. And we are going to start our conduit for peace prayer uh, with boat. So we'll, we'll get a little strength in the belly, and then we'll come into half bridge. So feeling those sits bones very, very strongly into the mat, and tucking the knees up into the chest. Inhale and just balance for a moment onto the sits bones, feel them grounding into the earth. And feel the desert beneath you. Inhale, exhale, if you'd like to straighten the legs and the arms, feel the strength of Torah, of truth. You can point the feet or not, and then grab under and shift forward. Good. Scooch down onto the back. I have a little mat for my head and feel the strength of the desert beneath your back and the immense of the sky above your head. As you inhale, exhale and push through the hips, gather the shoulders together, bringing the hands down to the sides or clasped underneath and breathe. Inhale, exhale, and slowly roll the spine all the way down until the hips are on the ground. Gather the knees to the chest and roll from side to side. Mm. Now keep the right leg grasped with the hands and just press the left leg out in front of you. Good. As you exhale, draw the left knee in, 
press the right leg out. One more time, right in, press the leg, left leg forward. Inhale, exhale, gather the left knee, press the right foot forward. Good. Both feet on the mat. Want to get up into half bridge, hands at the side. Inhale, exhale, push through the hips, gather the shoulders together. If you'd like to take it one step further, lift the left leg and breathe. And drop. And then lift the right leg. And breathe. And drop, push through. And then slowly lower all the way down. Gather the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Mm, that feels so good. Mm. Drop the knees over to the left. Bring the hand, arms out to the side. Look to the right. Enjoy that stretch in the spine. Open hearted love. Each of us brings our Torah to the world every day. Bring our truth. Gather the knees over to the right and look to the left. Join our hearts as one. If only we would do that every day, the world would be so much better. But we start with ourselves. Mm. And the knees come back to center. Feet are on the ground. And just draw them from side to side a little bit. In chilled wipers, I call this just kind of allowing that prayer to integrate into every cell. Good. And we bring to mind those who were remembering for Yiskor this Shavuot holiday, was standing at Sinai with all of those who have left us. But their presence is very much in our hearts. So as we recite our Kaddish prayer today, please bring to mind those who you'd like to remember. Inhale, exhale, and press the right foot into the ceiling. If you'd like to just put your legs up the chair or on another chair in front of you or up the couch, you can feel free to do that. So rotating the foot to the right and to the left, flex and point. Allow any grief that you might be feeling as you exhale just to float out your foot. Inhale, flex that right ankle onto left knee. Pull back gently. If you'd like to thread your hands under the left thigh, that'll give you a little bit more stretch in the right hip. And allow anything that you're holding, any grief, to just release from the hip. Inhale and exhale and release both feet down. And once again, windshield wiper those knees just to release the back of the hips and the bottom of the spine. My hips are really tight because I spent four hours in the car yesterday. And press the left leg into the ceiling, grab behind, rotate the foot to the left and to the right. Flex, 
and point. Flex and point. Flex. And bring that ankle, left ankle, under the right knee. Pull back and bring. If you'd like to thread your hands around the right thigh and get a good stretch in the left hip. Let go of anything you might be holding. Use the breath as a Miriam's well healing vehicle. So every time you exhale, inhale, bringing in the healing, exhale out anything you don't need. Inhale and releasing. Both feet down and then she'll wipe her those knees from side to side. Oh, it feels so good. Mm. And both feet up. Inhale, flex and point. And flex. And then just gently allow the legs to drop open. Release the groin area. Inhale, exhale. Bring the soles of the feet together and allow those knees to drop down. And bring the arms overhead, Supta Baddha Konasana, the butterfly. All those memories are pollinating all of the trees, all of the loved ones. May their memory be for a blessing, Zihonam Wivracha. And straighten out the feet. Legs all the way down onto the mat. Arms come to the sides with palms up. Shavasana. If you'd like to turn the light off or put an eye bag on your eyes or maybe your socks on or a blanket, whatever you need for yourself to feel completely relaxed. As we spend just a few moments absorbing our practice. I was on the beach yesterday and it was just so warm and beautiful. My happy place. So just picture yourself somewhere that is your happy place. A place where you feel radiant, that you feel protected. You feel surrounded by love, where your story is honored where your Torah is celebrated. Wherever that place is, find yourself there. Relaxing back into a warm, thick blanket, whether it's sand or a beach towel or maybe even a chair. Just a cool breeze, not too hot, not too cold. Either in the shade or in the sun, cool drink by your hand. And a warm, comforting blanket drawn up over the feet. Could be a towel or a blanket drawn up over the feet, legs hands, the belly, heart, arms being tucked in under the chin. You feel completely protected and nurtured in this relaxation place. You can return to it anytime you need to by simply Inhaling. And slowly releasing the breath. From the keter, the crown, to wisdom and understanding, throat is open. The third eye, seeing. 
Anahata, the heart to Ferris. Mitavim, Mitavim, Halloween, Halloween, brain, life giving oxygenated fluids all the way down to Yasud, the belly, and to the feet. Mahut Shekhina Shalom. Our Mishkan, our Torah place. Wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, from Sinai until now, we carry this Mishkan inside of our hearts as we gather our knees into our chest, roll from side to side, roll on to the right side, make a pillow of the arms. When you feel ready, push yourself up, and bringing that sense of Torah, of our inner Mishkan with us today from Sinai until now. want to thank you all for joining me on this standing at Sinai adventure today. Thanks for being with me. I wish you a day of healing and of truth of Satya, a day of joy, inner peace. Namaste. Hmm.